Hello everybody, happy holidays. I am so excited to kick off today's video with just a haul of all of the things that I have been ordering on Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I have a whatnot order from a good friend. I actually ordered a pen for myself on Black Friday from Italy and everything is here. So I thought this would be a really fun haul to just give you a glimpse into the type of things that I am ordering that are not secondhand for the holiday season. Hopefully the acoustics and everything are okay in here. Oh, well, hello, my friend. Hi. Are you gonna help me open presents? I'm really excited about everything on this table. Um, I had to exclude a couple things for my mom because I know she watches all my videos, so I can't wrap her stuff. Again, I think I'm pretty safe when it comes to my kids. I don't think they're really watching my stuff. But let's kick it off. I hope the sound is okay in here. Once I finish opening everything up, I actually have a pedicure. I might bring you along with me to say hello to some of my girlfriends. We're getting together. And then I think I need to go get wrapping paper because all I have is this gold paper, which I feel like it kind of leans green, and we have mostly red and silver under the tree. Let's dig right into the haul. Um, I'm gonna start with this awesome t-shirt. I ordered this on Amazon for Angelina on Thanksgiving, actually. So every year we watch the Friends episode where they have the football game in the park. It's like one of our absolute favorites. Rachel is wearing this t-shirt um, and it says Girls Boxing Bronx, New York. And I thought it would be really fun to order my kids because they all love friends, things that all of the characters are wearing. I noticed for the first time that Monica was wearing a New York Giants sweatshirt, which of course reminds me of my dad. Even though Monica was wearing it, I'm thinking about ordering that for Rocco. And then Ross was just kind of wearing a plain Nike sweatshirt. Phoebe was wearing a That Girl t-shirt, and Angie is much more like Phoebe than Rachel, but I thought this was really cute. I might just get them for Angie and get her this and the Phoebe t-shirt. Anyways, it was like $19. Throughout all of Happy Holidays, I will do my best to link things for you. I do have like a storefront for Amazon. I just got um, accepted for Like to Know, which I know links things. I have no idea. I have not linked a single item. So probably after I'm done filming this, I'll try to figure out how to link that stuff. So there are some things that I might get a little bit of an affiliate kickback for. So thank you so much for using my link. Other stuff, I'm just gonna link so you can get to it. What do we wanna open up next? Okay, these are sweatpants for my boys. Uh, Anthony gives me very specific items that he likes. And usually if it's something that Anthony likes and I think Rocco will get it, I'll buy it for Rocco and vice versa. These were just very basic champion sweats that Anthony wanted in a gray. And they were at Macy's for $45 half off. And then I used Rakuten and it was like 15 or 20% cash back. So I got both of the boys a pair. So it cost $45. I got Rocco the navy blue, Anthony the gray. Um, and then I think I showed you in one of my previous videos, I found a really nice reverse weave gray hoodie in Champion for Anthony's thrift bag. That video will be on day 10 of holidays. So these are the ones that I got for Rocco. Pretty basic for the boys. Um, Anthony loves the boxer shorts from Lululemon. These suckers were expensive. $74 for underwear, for three pairs of underwear. But Anthony does not really ask for much. Um, and I'm trying to see the name of these. The AIM Boxers, A-I-M Boxer. Three pack, size medium, $74 for underwear. He will appreciate them. So I got those for Anthony, and this is for Anthony too. I think these are the ABC pants. The other thing about ordering stuff for my son Anthony is he lives in New York and he's gonna take a train home, so I can't get him like anything bulky. Like he asked for a uh, protein powder for working out and it's literally like a five pound container. I'm like, Anthony, I'm just gonna have that shipped to his house. I'll probably order it on Christmas day and insert like a little coupon for him. Are these Rocco's? These are the ABC pants. If you can get these secondhand on Poshmark, I did buy Jay a pair of ABC pants secondhand because these are these are over $100. Sometimes you can get certain styles um, or like a jogger versus a regular style. And Anthony also just started working in person um, with his most recent, with his new job. Um, he's right in Manhattan, so he's in the office three days a week. But up until now, he's been working remotely for two and a half years. He just likes to be comfy during the day. 
but it's nice to get a couple really nice things because then I know like they're set. Oh, these might be his, oh, what is this? Hold on, I'm excited for this next item. Oh, this is for Angelina. So Angie's birthday is in December and she was going back and forth between a Kindle or an iPad. Uh, the iPads were a pretty good deal at Best Buy and we had some like um, points at Best Buy so we saved even more than the Black Friday price. But I ended up getting her um, the 10th, gener uh, 10th generation. But it's, it's kind of the lower end. I didn't get her the pro. She said a lot of the students in classes use iPads for note taking and she's applying to graduate school right now. Um, so she said she would really love one for grad school. I just don't know if I should have gotten her the pro, but I know that there is a pencil. I obviously need to get her the pencil because a lot of them do notes for this. I'm just hoping I didn't, it was still, it was still pricey, you know what I mean? And the iPad Pro is probably another $200. So I, I went with this one. Instead, it's still the latest generation. I have a really good friend who works at Apple and that's the one she told me to get. So I'm either gonna give that to Angie for her birthday or for Christmas, but likely that will be her like one birthday gift. Uh, what is in here? I think this is an order from Keens. Yes, okay. I've never ordered from this company before. However, they compete with some high-end brands. So for example, I think one of their most popular things they're known for is their Fisherman knit sweater, or maybe it's, it's like a cashmere cocoon sweater. There are a couple different styles, but they're competing directly with Jenny Kane. Jenny Kane sweaters, if they're not on sale, are $425 for their best-selling sweater. And I'm on their mailing list, and they always do 25% off at Christmas. But even with 25% off, you're still spending like $350 on a sweater. I tried to buy one on Amazon that was cashmere, and it was really pretty. It was only like $40, but it was a little boxy for me. I like a little bit uh, thinner and longer. This was boxier and shorter. I gave it to a friend. She absolutely loved it. Gave it to her for her birthday. So this brand, Keens, competes with those. The other thing that they had, that's what I bought, was, um, you know the Ugg slipper that's really popular right now? It has like the little trim around the ankle. You'll see in these. They're like $120. For UGG, well, on the Keens website, I hope I'm saying that right, they were $49 on Black Friday weekend, whatever day I happened to be on here. And then again, I also got cash back from Rakuten. So I got two pairs, one for Angie, one for Mama, that Jay will wrap up. But these I'm really excited about. I think if these are nice, these are going to be such a great gift. They're real shirling, that's the whole thing. They, they do all the real thing. It's real cashmere, real shirling, leather, all the stuff that you see on the more expensive brand, but they're a fraction of the price. Look at how cute these are. Sorry, the lighting in here is weird. I just wanted to have space on my table. I love the little trim here. Yeah, they just keeps. So they're not UGG, but I know Angelina won't care. And I, I will actually prefer to wear them when they're less money. I'll get more enjoyment out of them. I typically buy the Wicked, I think the Wicked Good or the Wicked Awesome slippers from L.L. Bean. Those are like my all-time favorite, but mine are pretty worn down. And those are in the ballpark of 70 or $80. So I figured I would give these a try because my other ones aren't completely worn out that I can't wear them. I also love that these have like, an UGG style sole that like I can walk the dog in these, you know, the important things. I can go get coffee with these on. So I thought this was a great pickup and I hope Angie loves hers too. I think I got her the size down. I don't think they had half sizes. So I got a nine for myself. I may have gotten Angie an eight. I was really excited about those and they look gorgeous. And I think they had different colors too, but that was a really good pickup. Okay, next is an order that I placed with my good friend Lisette. She is Posh Is My Purpose or New England Betty Boop on various platforms. I think she's New England Betty Boop on Whatnot. So she had her very first Whatnot show and I was so excited to tune in and she had some great things. She is also from Massachusetts, so we totally vibe. We get one another. And the thing that I was most excited about, and I think mostly Bostonians will appreciate this, I think I'm gonna give this to Rocco, although it's pretty big. Um, but as you know, in Massachusetts, or maybe you may not know, when we describe something as like very or really like that's 
that's really great. We say that's wicked great. I don't know, it's a mass thing. Wicked awesome. And you also know that we love to drop our R's. I, Jay has his accent pretty heavy. Mine usually comes out when I'm either A, tired, B, a little tipsy, or C, with all of my friends from home. <laughs> it usually comes out when I'm with my girlfriend, Kim. Anyways, I had to buy this. Wicked pissa. <laughs> Rocco will love this t-shirt. And it's Celtics colors. Uh, it's got, yeah, it is, a, it's a Boston Celtics. It's got the clover and the, the basketball hoop. So thank you, Lisette. She had a couple of these and I'm like, oh, I, I have to have one of those. This would even be a good bed shirt for me, but it's Christmas, so I will give it to Rocco. Happy and blessed Thanksgiving, Tata family and friends. And Lisette wrote me such a beautiful note. She is somebody I met through this world of reselling and she is such a solid person she's such a love i love her so much um she also included she always does this she always includes some really cute little poly mailers for the resellers in her life so these are these ones have little christmas ornaments and this really pretty pink blush oh those are gorgeous and then some some little packages little posh package stuff posh love isn't that so cute oh my gosh what does this say Oh, it says ship, ship. I thought it said ship and shop, like my videos. I was all excited. Um, and then I remember what these were because I think these were in her buy it now section. I love fingerless gloves. I think because I'm always on my phone because of what I do for work. I think these are fingerless. I love these. I'll put these in my Christmas stocking too. Oh, aren't these so cute? How's that little fuzz? I thought they were adorable. Lisette, I love these. And they have like a little crisscross over here on the side. It's funny because I bought some fingerless gloves, much more casual, when I was in New York City, when I went to Brooklyn just recently. And you know, you put, you had the fingers, like you, went, you still put your fingers in, but it was fingerless. This is just all open, like at the knuckles here. Isn't that so cute? I think these are so pretty. Okay, so cute. Is it awful that I shop for myself? My family says I'm hard to buy for. I think I love everything, but I think when I want something, I will get it. And Jay's always like, just pick it out and put it in your stocking. So I kind of ruined the surprise for myself, but okay. I have zero memory of this. What is this? Oh, is this like a little cover up? Ooh, pretty. Yes. Oh, it's I and C and an extra large. Oh, this is such a lorry top in this beautiful maroon. I'll have to wear this one day for happy holidays. It's a great festive color. It's this beautiful wine color. We'll see how it looks. It's like a little bit of a waterfall in the front here. So a little bit longer in front, so cute. I'm either gonna keep this or I will I will sell it at my next whatnot show. Did I even, did she just throw that in as a gift? I don't remember buying that. She's just too sweet. You can get some really amazing deals on whatnot. I am doing my next whatnot show on December 10th. I should have a link in the description for you for that too uh, with my link because I partner with Whatnot. When you make your first purchase using my link, you get a $15 credit towards my show or any show that you watch. The last show that I did, there were 17 new people and there were a bunch of people that like made their first Whatnot purchase, which I thought was really sweet because a lot of them paid nothing for it because a lot of my stuff on Whatnot sells for $15 or less. Uh, when I was in New York City, I picked this up for Angelina. I can't even see it now. I'm gonna, can you even see if I come back here? It was a little um, bakery, a little Parisian bakery called Angelina. And it happened to be right across the street from where Anthony worked and we were meeting for lunch. And so I was hanging out at Bryan Park. I was doing some journaling. I did a little shopping because they have like that whole holiday village with all the pop-up shops. And then when I met, went to meet Anthony, my phone was dying. So I'm like, I want to go into a cafe so I can charge my phone. And the first cafe that I saw was this cafe called Angelina's. I'm like, well, my goodness, I have to get some stuff from here. So I got these little, um, this little tin with toffee and salted butter, yum. And it's a little tin and it's got a little girl and it says Angelina, I had to get that. And then this actually made me laugh because I was, I was at the register and I saw this. And I said, oh, that's so nice. It says, um, what does it say? Hold on. They laughed at me. Chestnut cream. It says chestnut cream. I said, that's so nice. Is that hand lotion? <laughs> They're like, no, it's, it's like, it's cream. You, you can put it in your coffee. You can put it in, I don't know, tea. I, I don't know. It's, it's cream. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to try it. It was like seven or $8. So I have this and I'm just going to put this under the tree 
like this with some pretty tissue paper. Do you guys find that girls are so easy to shop for? So easy. So Rocco wanted a gold bracelet, which I ordered for him and it came in and it's so thin. It, it literally looks less than half of the width that it appeared to be in the photographs online. So I'm kind of disappointed. I have to return that. It's uh, it's really beautiful, but it's just it's just too dainty for Rocco. So that's got to go back. This feels like Christmas already. <laughs> okay, this is from Bloomingdale's. This is the foundation that I order every year. And I literally only order this on Black Friday. And I only ordered one this year. Last year I ordered two, but it's it's expensive foundation, but I'm 50 now and I don't care anymore. I just I just want foundation that looks good. <laughs> this is La Mer. This is the neutral color. Um, and it's usually like $140 for foundation. I've bought dupes for it. That's what I'm using right now. It's like a Maybelline or uh, L'Oreal dupe. So I kind of hoard this throughout the year. It's just the best foundation I've ever used in my life. So it's typically like 140, I know, awful. On Black Friday, it was marked down to 123 and then it was 20% back from um, Bloomingdale's cash back on Rakuten. So I'll get like $22 back. So it'll be about 100 still, but better than 145. And I only bought one bottle this year because I bought the pen too. So I only got one bottle of this and it's the best foundation I've ever used. I've tried so many things and I just love it. I love it. Okay, next up is this pen. I'm totally going down my rabbit hole of fountain pens. A lot of you are probably gonna tune me out at this point, but there's a company called Leonardo um, and they make pens out of Italy. So the three main places that I buy my fountain pens from, like the countries of origin. Well, Esterbrook is an American-based brand that I really love. There are a couple brands out of Italy that of course I love. Leonardo is one of them. I think I have four Leonardo pens. Visconti is another Italian brand that's wonderful. Aurora, I don't have any Aurora pens, but I love my Italian brands. Hello. Hi. How are we? I'm, I'm opening presents. We just sold an American Girl thing, so she's doing one last hey, minute rally. A little bit lower. Hey. There we are. Oh, so I was saying, most of my pens are either from Italy. Uh, Mont Blanc is German made. Caveco is another big brand from Germany. This is a company called Stilo and Style, and they collaborated with Leonardo, and they do these drops on Black Friday, and I have a good friend who I do a YouTube podcast with. Her name is Vanessa. This is all stuff featured on my other channel called Time with Tata. She is like an affiliate or works with Stilo and Style, so she penabled me. That's what, that's what the nerdy people in the pen community, me included, we call this when you influence someone to get a pen. Anyways, this was the Black Friday special. They were sold out. They only had certain nibs left and they had the chrome finish. They didn't have the darker finish. There's one called the Milky Way that sold out. That was the partner pen to this, but I didn't want that one. This is like a darker purpley one. I won't get too nerdy on you. I'm very excited about this pen. And I got it with a broad nib, which allows for a lot more ink to flow. If anybody wants any information on fountain pens, there's a lot over on Time with Tata, and this is so pretty. I am so excited about this. It came from Italy, and it came really quickly. So it just says that it's a broad nib. This is a steel nib. Sometimes you can get 14 karat gold nibs. Obviously, they cost more money. Oh, this is so pretty. And sometimes the, um, the polishing isn't as shiny. Sometimes you can get a matte finish. This is a really beautiful high gloss polish. And it's hard for me to see with the light in, but it's like a deeper purple. Let me show it to you. And there are parts that are a little, here, let me put the light over here. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, it's so nice. I'm so excited about this pen. And it came so fast. 
yeah, this is awesome. So broad nib right here. I think it's a cartridge, is it a piston fill? So you can either have a piston fill where you just like twist it this way and all the ink comes up, or you can have what they call a cartridge converter fill. Um, and this is a cartridge converter. So I can just put whatever bottled ink I want in here and then it flows through the feed and out the nib. And I just find writing with fountain pens to be super therapeutic and I love it. So that will not be wrapped up for Christmas. I'm very excited about this. It's really pretty. I can't wait to get it like under the lights, not when the lights are shining on me. Um, maybe I'll show you a little bit of a writing sample. All right, that's it for now. I need to clean up my mess of all of these boxes. Tina's gonna get, we sold an American Girl soccer outfit. It was full asking for $30. We gotta get that out. I'm gonna go meet my girlfriends for nails and then we'll meet back here and we will wrap some gifts. Lumpy, are you back? You came back. Did you eat Angie's socks that were gonna go in her stocking? Why did you eat her socks? I hope they were good. I hope they were good. There's Rita. <laughs> Win the cup. You're in today's vlog, my friend. <laughs> we had a friend who sent over some treats for us. Rita, what do we have here? Are those donuts? They're mini donuts. So sweet. We don't mess around at the nail salon. <laughs> and cheese, look at how cute they are. That's adorable. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love it so much. And of course you got your wine here. <laughs> We're still here. It's been a long time. That's our friend Kim, too. <laughs> All right, sorry, it's so dark out. Um, I just left the salon. One of our friends couldn't go, and she sent in, like, popcorn and um, little snowman donuts. It was really cute. It was super fun at the salon tonight. I've been going there for, like, a decade with the same girls. So Jay is hosting a conference in town, so he's coming home late and I am solo for dinner. So I'm going to this little shop in town. They make the best fried chicken sandwiches and I'm also gonna get a spicy kale salad. I ordered it from the salon, so I'm just going to pick it up. And then I think I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx tomorrow because it's getting late and I wanna go home and snuggle with Lumpy. Hi everybody, good morning. It's Friday morning, happy December 1st, official kickoff. I decided to go to a local, kind of like just department store that has a lot of discounted stuff because I had a couple other things to grab. And then I have to run to the Council on Aging to drop off all of the holiday decorations that I'm donating from Slow Fashion Friday from like two or three weeks ago. So my girlfriend works there and I'm going to go there and drop everything off to her. All right, so we'll do that. Then we'll go home, wrap some presents and call it a day. Okay, I got my latte, got my friend a coffee, and now I'm gonna go drop off all those decorations. Okay, I just brought one bin in, and now I'm bringing this. I hope they're happy with this stuff. All right, I'm so happy to get rid of this and get my trunk back. I'm home. One more package came in, I already opened it up. These are sneakers that Anthony wanted. It's a brand I've never heard of. I ordered them through Urban Outfitters because I got cash back that day, but it came directly from this company and like none of the discounts applied, but I still got cash back on Rakuten. So these are all of my ribbons and things like that. I just been loving the kind of classic white, red and silver. Um, so we'll mess around and do some combination. Over here, my family always calls them my auxiliary gifts, but every time you have like a grab bag or like a last minute, let's get together with the girls and go to Christmas little dinner out and bring a $25 gift or whatever. I just love having stuff on hand. So this was a little example of something I put together from this store. Um, these blankets were $13.99, but it was like a special. They were priced at $8.99 and they're just like this grayish color. I'm gonna tell you something about them in a second though. These Swiss chocolates, 
wore a dollar. These Mukluk uh, women's tall boot socks. These are really nice and classic, I thought. I also like getting winter theme, but not necessarily Christmas theme. Like, I, I feel like people would wear these all through the winter, but they don't have like Santa Claus or anything like that. I just like things that are just a little bit more streamlined lately. So this was a dollar. I love this decaf chai spice because I love tea at night, but I can't do caffeine at night and it's hard to find black tea chai that's decaf. So I literally bought every one that they had. So chocolate was a dollar. This was three, so that's four. These were six, that's 10. And then the blanket was $9. So this is literally a $19 gift that I think is really nice. Here's the problem. We are replacing our couch. We get a new couch. It's coming between like December 17th and January 6th or something. Great timing. Not really. This is the color of the fabric of the new couch. It's going to be much lighter than what we have here. And when I saw these, I thought, I bet that might be a good match. And I was going to get a bunch of them, because a couple for the table as well. I mean, a couple for home as well. And... Um, I'm like, I'm just going to get two in case it doesn't match. Look at how perfect this is. <laughs> now I don't want to give these. Now I want to keep them here. It like, it's very, very subtle, the difference. And I just feel like that would be so neutral and great on the couch. Or do I want something that pops? I don't know. Anyways, I know where they came from. They were $8.99. I can always go back and get more. All right, we have to wrap some gifts now. I just put something in there for Meme. It's just Meme's gift. You're so funny. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Okay, well, this is a start. Thank you guys so much for motivating me <laughs> to get my presents wrapped. I, you know, this is just the beginning, but I find the sooner I wrap presents and get them under the tree, I usually keep a log of what I bought for everybody so I don't get confused. And I really like to coordinate my stuff, but keeping it kind of simple. So let's see how things look under the tree. And the big question is, is Mr. Freshy Pants going to try to get to stuff? Because he likes going under the tree. I still have that one little basket over there that needs to go. This is the mess that you're not seeing. All right, let's do this. I got one for each kid so far. And then a lot more to wrap. What do you all do um, for wrapping? Do you have one color per child? I decided a while ago not to do that because then sometimes certain gifts would be just in big packages and I always found like it didn't seem, I, I thought the kids would be sad if one paper seemed more than the others. But we'll keep it like this. This is the beauty of having an artificial tree. What do you think, Lumpy? What do you think? What's on your face? That scotch tape. <laughs> oh, your friend. Oh, what's on your paw, Lumpy? What's on your paw? What did you get into, honey? Oh, you are too funny. Your first Christmas, huh? What are we gonna do with all these presents? All these sticky things from the mail. You're so sweet, Lumpy. Thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed, okay, Lumpy. I hope you enjoyed day one of Happy Holidays. Thank you for wrapping presents with me. Did you get a head start on Black Friday with your shopping? I tend to do the bulk of my shopping on Black Friday. Like I really get in the zone that weekend and then I kind of fill in the blanks as the, um, as the month progresses. I hope you're having a wonderful kickoff to the holiday season. I cannot believe it's December 1st. Thank you all so much for being here. I will be back tomorrow with a trip to Sabres. We're gonna do a traditional haul tomorrow. And I'll see how the presents survive. Do you think they're gonna make it through the night with this guy? I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, one last thing before we go. I decided to do this just recently 
At the end of each happy holiday video, I am going to share with you a promotion in my Poshmark closet or my eBay store, and you can only get it here at the end of each happy holiday video. So for today's holiday gift, anyone who has purchased from me in the past in any capacity can get 40% off one pre-owned article of clothing in my Poshmark closet. It doesn't apply to American Girl, it doesn't apply with new with tag items, but if you've purchased from me before, you can create a bundle and in the comments section, tell me what you bought before. I'll send you an offer for 40% off. If it's your first time buying from me, you can create a bundle or send me a message that just says first time and I will offer you 30% off your first purchase. There'll be a different promotion every day that I will share with you at the end of my happy holidays video. I hope you enjoy this. It's only gonna be here and it's gonna be at the end of each video. All right, everybody, happy holidays. See you tomorrow.